What's up, YouTube? Back with your boy, Luke. Guys, I have a live hooker update for Tijuana Zona Norte District, the red light district of Tijuana. Today is July the 12th, 2023. Got a lot of stuff to talk about, guys. First and foremost, on July the 15th, Saturday night, yours truly is going to be at the Chicago Club, and you're invited. If you're a subscriber and you've met me before, come on down. Let's party with those whores. Let's drink. Let's shoot the shit. Let's have a good time. If you're a subscriber and you've never been to Tijuana before, Saturday night's going to be a perfect night to come on down and party. I'm going to be there. Email address is listed down below. If you have any questions, let me know. Guys, you can walk across the border. You do not need a passport to go to Tijuana and party with those whores. You just don't. Also, guys, the famous girls from Monterey, Mexico are going to be flying in. Um, if you've seen my live chats, you're going to know a lot of these famous girls. You're going to recognize these girls. They're flying in from Monterey to Tijuana as we speak right now. We're going to take it down to the beach and party in Puerto Penasco for a couple days. But on Saturday night, we're coming back to Tijuana and we're going to party. So if you've watched my live chats, you're going to see these girls. Okay, guys. Adelita Bar still shut down. Of course, we all know that. Hong Kong is amazing. I heard on an interview the other day from a girl that there was 700 girls working at HK, and I totally believe it. Four floors of whores, one, two, three, four, two hotel rooms, 747 freaking wingspan. They bought the bars to the left of them, they bought the bars to the right of them, and they've knocked out the walls, and they're expanding. I'm telling you right now, pussies expanding in all directions. They're going up, and they're going side to side. Wouldn't surprise me if they dug a hole and put a basement in the place and filled it up with girls too, okay? Absolutely amazing. So, anyways, guys, ever since the Adelita Bar has been shut down, all those girls have mi migrated to Tropical, Chicago, Hong Kong which is giving you more quality, more selection. If you've never been, you need to go. Maybe you've got a simple job in San Diego. You're not making that much money. You don't drive a BMW, guys. Tijuana, Mexico is still the place where you can go. You can smash a hot piece of ass for 100 bucks. You don't have to deal with the entitlement. You don't have to deal with the feminism. You don't have to deal with the head games. It's all legal. Smash, dash, and go. Have a great time. If you got two or 300, you can smash two at the same time. Highly recommended. Okay, guys. Now, one thing I wanted to talk about, guys, a very important part of this video. I'm going to be live again on Saturday night. I'm going to be doing bits and pieces and updates from Zona Norte. But one thing I wanted to let you guys know is uh, Brian Rivera Andrade, the serial killer that was killing the girls in Mexico like Ted Bundy, strangling their ass. This guy right here. He's finally been caught. Now... Tijuana News Outlets reported on it about six months ago. I reported on it. I did a video on it. I know uh, Sam from uh, Travel Group Mexico, he's been reporting on it. Uh, what this guy was doing is he was coming down from the L.A. area, and he was going down there and killing these girls, making appointments with them, getting to know them, making dates with them. All these girls wound up strangled. They come up dead. Uh, two and two got put together. They found some cell phones, some social media communication, some cameras, some evidence. Comes out, this guy was living in the United States, going to Tijuana and pulling this shit and going back to the United States. Well, the Mexico attorney's office contacted the FBI, presented their evidence. They've arrested this guy, um, and he's going to be facing extradition. He's being held now with no bail, and he's going to be facing extradition to Mexico and charged with femicide, which is like homicide, but for killing women. So he's probably never going to see the light of day again, and that's good. All right, guys, like I said before, Saturday night, July the 15th, I'm going to be at the Chicago Club, and I'm going to be with those famous whores from Monterey. It's going to be a great time. I hope to see you there. Until next time, we'll see you down the road. By the way, people are like, Luke, where have you been? Guys, I'm sorry, but I've been working my ass off. I've been working a couple months straight. I'm trying to buy another condo and flip this condo. You're going to be seeing videos of that too. I've just been super, super busy, but I've missed you guys. God knows I've missed those beautiful whores of Zona Norte. But I'm back now, and we'll see you down the road, and we'll see you Saturday night. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, smash that like and subscribe button. We'll see you, boys.